When people first start beach casting, they need to have a few simple tackles at their disposal. Tackles that are easy to put together, that don't cost a fortune, and which will enable them to catch a variety of species. The pulley rig is one such rig. It can be used with the panel rig to catch bigger fish, but it can also be used with a single hook trace to catch smaller species such as flatfish. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put it together. For any rig that you tie, you need to have a good strong knot for anything that you attach in. I tend to use a 1980s version of the Grinner knot. It's easy to tie and it's very, very strong. Works like this. Go through the eye of the hook and give yourself a few inches to work with. First step after that is to go around the main line with your tag end three times. Once you've done that, go through your first twist and from there just turn it and pull it into a circle with the double strands here on the right hand side. Working top to bottom you then go through and around the double twists three times. So it's three for the first three twists and then three times around the doubled strands. When you've done that you get hold of both the tag end and your line and you pull up. I'm going to pull on the tag end alone for a moment. Now if this was nylon you'd wet it to reduce friction and then you pull down. What you're left with is a very small, very strong knot. I could trim this here and then the bait would slide up over the hook and that little tag end would help to stop it coming down. The other advantage is that because the tag end is facing up rather than out, there's no little nylon spur to jab the fish in the mouth when it takes the bait. So it actually gives you just a couple of seconds longer to set the hook when a fish takes. So that's the 1980s revised style of the Grinner knot. A very small, a very efficient knot. Certainly one that you can use for every component of the pulley rig. Once you've got your knot sorted out, you're ready to have a go at making up the tackle. Of course, you will need to know what components you're gonna need. So first off, here's a few seconds for a diagram just to make sure you've got all your bits and pieces close to hand. To start making the pulley rig, what I tend to do is put an 80 pound plus swivel onto a fast link, which is connected to an impact lead. I take a meter of rig body line and then I tie that using a three turn grinner. So one, two, three, back through the first twist, pull it into a circle and then working top to bottom, one, two, three. That gets pulled up before I pull down and as you can see it leaves a very small very neat and tidy knot. I can trim that and then get on with the tackle. Next thing I've got to do is I need to just thread on a bead. Um, I prefer small beads but for the sake of the video I'm using a larger bead. That's going to go down to the lead. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to use a proper pulley. Now on the proper pulley, you can see it's connected to a swivel. This eye of the swivel is going to attach to the main line. So for the moment, I pass the rig body through the proper pulley there. After that, I thread on another bead, a piece of tubing, which will help to keep everything straight when you reel in. It'll help to prevent tangles. And then from there, another bead, And on to the end of the rig body now, I tie a swivel. Once again, I'm going to stick to the Grinner knot. This is not the original knot that Richard Walker devised back in the 1950s. This was actually one that was um, changed in the 1980s. But they didn't like to change the name of it, so it's the Grinner knot. <laughs> not the original Grinner knot, but it's still the Grinner knot. Three turns around back through the first twist, pull into a circle, three turns around, and pull up before I pull down, wet it, and then I can trim that short. At this point, you're going to need a piece of trace that is the right length to sit between the swivel on the end of the rig body and to hang over the hook on the impact lead. Once you've cut the trace to the right length, tie it to the swivel on the end of the rig. And then what I do is I thread on a little bit of telephone wire, which I've twisted around a cake tester to make a stop. So that just gets threaded on. I then thread on a rubber shock bead with the wide end towards the rubber. The idea behind that is that it will sit over the uh, bit of telephone wire. You can add some beads if you like. I'm going to add two or three luminous beads. Whenever I use these, I take a UV torch with me and the UV torch just helps to charge the beads up a little bit. Just makes them glow that little bit brighter in the water. So put on two or three of those. And then from there, you need to tie on your hook. So from here, once again, it's my grinner. So I'm going to go three turns around. Back through that first twist, pull into that circle. Three turns around. And then pull up before I pull down and that will give me a nice small knot. The advantage of this is the tag end is placed up the trace. There's nothing at the side to jab into a fish's mouth when it takes. So I can trim that a bit short. That'll act as a bait stop. And now I need to sort out where my telephone wire stop goes. So I'm just going to bring that to about there and all you do, you twist it between your thumb and your finger. And as you twist it, the diameter of the wire narrows and eventually it will get to the point where it is holding tight 
to the line. Let's mark that up a little bit. And just keep twisting until it is tight. And you can see now my rubber shot bead will go up and slide over the top of the telephone wire stop and it leaves me a nice little piece there for the bait to go on. Now when you cast this will hang over there and then you will see that you get a lovely streamlined tackle. Perfect for casting. And that's your poly rig. The last picture shows how the pulley rig got its name. Basically, if a fish takes on the hook, when you lift the rod and pull against it, the weight of the fish lifts the weight of the lead up and away from any reefs on the bottom. It helps to save a lot of tackle. A lot of people like to use the pulley rig for big fish. Um, and a common adaptation for that is when they fish it as a panel rig which is basically two hooks, one above the other. Now, a common practice for this is that people thread the top hook onto the trace, and then they wrap the trace around it, like that. It's okay, but it's not great. Um, me personally, I prefer to borrow a leaf from the Course Anglers Bible. And I actually prefer to hair rig the first hook. So I'm gonna start with the bottom hook. I'm gonna tie that on. Just for this, I'm gonna use a straightforward grinner knot. can trim that fairly short. Now what I need to do is to put the top hook on hair rig style. Now it doesn't really matter if you go in through the front or in through the back as long as you do the same at the end of the knot as you do at the beginning. So you can do it from the back. This time I'm going to do it from the front. So you go through the top eye, pull the trace through it, so that you've got a nice straight bit 
hanging down the shank. Now I'm just going to take that and tightly coil it around the hook shank. And I shall probably do that for about 10 turns. Hold it between thumb and finger. And then because I went in through the front, I'm going to have to go back through the front again. And as I do that, I pull the trace through. And then if I pull on both, it makes it nice, neat and secure. Now I can align both of those hooks perfectly so that my bait, whether it's a mackerel or a strip or whether it's a large sand deal, it will sit between those two hooks perfectly. And that's what I want. Also, because this hook is fixed in place, I don't need to use a bait stop with it. For those of you who haven't heard of a bait stop before, we use bait stops with a bead between the bait and the bait stop. And basically what happens is on a streamlined casting rig, air resistance pushes the bait up. And if you didn't have a bait stop there, it could be pushed well up away from where the hook is. Because the second top hook here is fixed, we don't need to worry about that. So there is your panel rig. And that's everything that I wanted to say about the pulley rig today. I hope you found it useful and I hope you stay safe in these difficult times. Look after yourselves. Goodbye.